and gentlemen, welcome to the ACW Alliance Championship Wrestling. Hello everyone, I'm your commentator MJ. We're coming to you live from the ACW Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. And here comes William Regal. Legion of the Falling Contest using for one fall, making his way to the ring from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 200. And 40 pounds, William Regal. Well, William Regal, in for the biggest night of his life, set the score up with somebody new representing the ACW roster. Well, whoever it is, it looks like this is going to be a wild night here in the arena. But the question is, who's debuting tonight? Well, let's find out. Who can it be? What the? No, that's not. And his opponent from Moita, Japan, weighing in at 116 pounds, Yuma Tsukamo! What? Oh my god! Yuma Tsukamo has arrived in ACW, making his in ring debut! What a debut this is for this young man. He's got a lot of heart. You got to give him that. And no doubt about it. Making his in-ring debut against a wrestling legend in the form of that man, William Regal. You know that about it. As William Regal has a triumphant opportunity to do whatever it takes to win. Here we go. Match underway. Yeah, but this matchup is truly a... Oh, my goodness. Yuma starting things off with a springboard cutter into another one. My goodness. And right now, the, the fans, on the other hand, showing their appreciation for this new gun, this young gun, Yuma Tsukamo. And right now, though, folks, is William Regal in the meantime has tri triumphant opportunities any way he can. Trying to t teach the young guns what it's all about in this business. I think if I knew better, William Regal is trying to whip Yuma Tsukamo into shape. I think he wants to welcome him his way. Left to get a two count. And oh my God, William Regal with the snake eyes off the barricade. Ref hit a four count. Ref hit five. And right now, though, folks, can you say that things really change for the better here on 412 Films? As we already know, we have another new series being created. As it was revealed to be the Bell and Hugo series. And it looks like the TNW World Heavyweight Champion, and most of all, the TNW Intercontinental Champion. Both champions will have their own show featuring some of the greatest Beybladers of all time. Yeah, know that about it. But who knows what could happen on this new series. And we're going to find out sooner or later. But right now, though, folks, Yuma Tsukamo coming back in this fight with an amazing high-flying arsenal, goes for a cover, gets a one count. Well, this is already turning into an amazing match thus far. Nicely done. And Yuma Tsukamo having his way with William Regal, stomping away on his back. Yeah, right now, though, folks, this has truly become an amazing matchup thus far as Yuma continues to dominate the fight. And a running drop kick, knocking William Regal right off his feet. Yeah, but William Regal, in the meantime, has got so much on his mind, and this has truly become an amazing matchup tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it, as Yuma in trouble right now, getting his head slammed off the top turnbuckle. And, uh-oh, Yuma... Whoa! What a drop kick! Right off the corner! Well, right now, though, this is turning into an impactful debut for Yuma Tsukamo. But how is this going to end? Well, we're going to find out right here and now as Yuma has got William Regal up for something. While Regal is not letting that one slide. And right now, though, folks, whoa! Yuma right now launching him off the ropes. There's a leapfrog. 
And oh, what a maneuver! A Spanish fly and an Itsuguri popping him in the jaw. Yeah, well, folks, it looks like Yuma right now has William Regal where he wants him. Oh, whoa, that's a stun gun. Into a running neck breaker. What a combination. Cover, is that it? Two. And Yuma wins his debut match. My God, what a match. What a match. Here's your winner, Yuma Sukumo. What an impactful debut for Yuma Sukumo with an amazing combination maneuver we thought we'd never see. Yeah, no doubt about it. But something tells me, right down the road, folks, we know that it's just been announced from general manager Noah Anderson. King is set to defend his title against a mystery superstar that's been assigned to the ACW roster, while Heather and Tiffany Stratton will defend their titles against a mystery team. Well, of course, we know that coming up next is the number one contendership match that will determine the number one contender for Jenga's ACW Next Generation title. Well, we're being told Noah Anderson made it into an open challenge to anybody in the back that wants a shot at the title for the number one contendership. Well, whoever steps up to the plate, we could be finding out it could be somebody new or somebody that's already wanting a shot at the title. Well, we're going to find out who it is. Come to you live and next. We're back live here, and who stepped up to the plate? And hey, it's Shu Cornine. Well, Shu has accepted the challenge. It looks like Volt Doyoi's best friend. Leech on the falling contest, good to four one fall, making his way to the ring from Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds. Shu Cornine. Well, we're getting the last name right. Shu Kornai, also known as Shu for short, is getting a title opportunity in this number one contendership match. Like our general manager Noah Anderson said, it's an open challenge to anybody in the back or somebody new that wants to get a shot at Jenga's ACW Next Generation Championship. Yeah, well, Shu has been through a lot here in ACW, has not been pinned or submitted just yet. And this young man has a, has a long potential to go a long way here in ACW. Or either make it in a TNW ring along with the rest of the Beybladers. Who knows what could happen for this young man? We'll find out sooner or later. But right now, though, folks, it's on the line here for Shu. What the heck? Oh, my. What in the world? Unbelievable. And his opponent from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 100. And 90 pounds. Post Malone. Oh my God, that's Post Malone. Post Malone making his ACW in-ring debut. We had the debut of Machine Gun Kelly, and a lot has happened here in ACW. And yes, we have Logan Paul, but we've never seen Post Malone until tonight. Oh, what a backflip by Post Malone right off that second rope. And what an entrance for this newcomer tonight. Yeah, well, Post Malone, I believe, is an amazing athlete. He's a musician, but has never been in a wrestling environment before until tonight. Well, let's see what Post Malone can do in his ACW in-ring debut. Oh, here we go, referee right there. Calls for the bell, and this one's underway. Here we go. Shu and Post Malone going at it. And Shu looks to keep his winning streak alive to get a shot at the next gen title. Falcon Arrow Suplex. Well, like the Michinuku driver hooking the leg. Only got a one count, says our senior official. Well, I told this joke on numerous occasions. Good thing it's not Tony Mamaluke. <laughs> All right now, though, folks. Nevertheless, though, former general met. I already know that current general manager Dakota Behan is in the building tonight and he's getting impressed with these performances that he's been seeing as of late. Yeah, well, no doubt about it. I already know that Cole's mom is still currently the HWF general manager for now until Dakota Behan is, has returned from his recovery, no less. Yeah, no doubt about it. He's still on vacation. 
knowing Dakota Behan is the real HWF general manager. And there's a lot that could happen here. And Shu with a drop kick, drop kicking Post Malone out to the floor. Yeah, well, Shu right now is trying to give it his all to be the number one contender and meet Jenga for the ACW Next Generation Championship. Oh, it is an opportunity for Shu. And as far as I'm concerned, I mean, Post Malone is wearing boxer shorts. And as far as I'm concerned, this is just an amazing ring attire we're seeing from Post Malone. And this young man is already a musician. We've never seen him wrestle before until tonight. Yeah, well, Post Malone with a snap suplex taking Shu down. But Shu recovered there. He's got Post Malone up on his shoulders. Sizing him up. Launching him like a human chapel. Right off that top rope. Cover the match and gets a one count. Just what a debut thus far from Post Malone. Fighting back right he's got against this young gun. Knowing that these two young guns are giving it their all here. Post Malone back to his feet. Caught Shu off guard. Launching Shu off the ropes. Into a face buster. Taking something out of the game playbook. Triple H. And Post Malone. Oh my God. Post Malone flew right over the top rope. We've never seen that done before. Unbelievable. Post Malone just flew right over the top rope. Uh-oh, shoe nipped up. And Post Malone already taking something out of the old school playbook of the real wrestling days. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, no doubt about it. Shoe jumping over the top rope, bringing it back to the ring. One-legged drop kick to the face on Post Malone. And Post Malone didn't see it coming. Yeah, well, Shoe launching him off the ropes. Looking for another drop kick. Missed the target. And a running nipped up punch by Post Malone. Catching Shoe off guard once again. But what's Post Malone going to do now? I don't know. And Post Malone wrenching that arm on the top rope. Come on, ref. Get him off him. And Post Malone, unbelievable with that knee lift right in the face of, of Shu, and Shu kicked out at one. Yeah, well, don't forget, Machine Gun Kelly, on the other hand, was the only rock and roll superstar to be ACW, to be ACW champion by winning the tag titles with none other. With the one and only Rick Boogs, knowing where Rick is, who knows what could happen for that young man's future. Yeah, no doubt about it. Already made it through a TNW environment with Eddie Munson, no less. And right now, though, uh-oh. Shoe counter Post Malone's finishing maneuver. We have no idea what it is, but Shoe has got something on his mind. And Post Malone with a counter of his own. Big boxing jabs. He's already wearing boxer shorts. Uh, no pun intended, of course, folks. And right now, though, Shu with another counter. This has truly become a back-and-forth battle between the two. And this is turning into an amazing slugfest thus far. Looking for a right hand. Missed the target. And both these guys are exhausted. And oh, my! Wait a minute. What's this now? And oh, Shu with a counter. And right now, though, Shu aiming right for the leg of Post Malone. And uh oh oh Shoes all fired up. Look out. What a drop kick off the corner. And cover. Hook of the leg. Referee there. Is that it? Two. And Post Malone kicked out at two and a half. This is unbelievable. Malone staying alive here any way he can. With a super kick right to the knee. Into a Canadian destroyer. He knocked the wind right out of him. Is that it right there? Cover! And Shu Cornine is the number one contender for Jenga's HCW Next Generation Championship. Here's your winner, Shu Cornine! Shu Cornine is the number one contender for Jenga's HCW Next Generation Championship. Oh, that's going to be a dream match. Beyblade Metal Fusion versus Beyblade Burst. You know that about it. The ultimate dream match is going to happen this Sunday. And right now, though, folks, stick around. Coming up next, the Tornado Tag Team match. We're being told that it will determine the number one contenders for Darby Allen's ACW Tag Team Championships along, alongside Owen. We have no idea who's going to step up to the plate, but find out. Come to you live and next. 
We're back live. Who stepped up to the challenge? And uh oh, it's the Von Eriks. Marshall Ross. The falling contest is a tornado tag team match. Good to for one fall. On their way to the ring. Accompanied by Kevin Von Eric. The, at a combined weight, 440 pounds. The team of Marshall and Ross, the Von Eric's. Well, Kevin Von Eric, a true wrestling legend and one of the greatest of all time, is going to compete tonight. Is already out here in support for his sons tonight. And Marshall and Ross would love more than anything than that the tag titles to their resumes. But who stepped up it? Oh, wait a minute. I know who that is. It's the Headbangers. Thrasher and Moss. And they're opponents at a combined weight. 488 pounds. Moss and Thrasher. The Headbangers. Well, the Headbangers have been through so much in their careers. Created their own tag team championships that only lasted for months. And the only thing I could say is the Headbangers would love more than anything to make their impactful ACW in-ring debut against the Von Eriks and get a shot at Darby Allen and, of course, Owens' ACW Tag Team Championships. Well, we already know that Heather, the Queen Bee, and her tag partner, Tiffany Stratton, will take on a mystery team that Noah Anderson and Quilt 412 have officially signed over. We're being told it's from Heather's past. Well, whoever the, the team is, good luck. You're going to need it. Because right now, though, folks, this is truly becoming an amazing matchup tonight. An amazing show thus far. Post Malone made an impactful debut with some amazing wrestling abilities on Shu, but Shu won the number one contendership spot against Jenga for the next-gen title. Yeah, well, folks, it's all on the line here for the Headbangers and, and the Von Eriks of what's on the line here. Well, Marshall and Ross did a lot of big things in the independent circuit for a long time and then made their presence well-known in TNA wrestling. And no doubt about it. They even wrestled in AEW to Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah, no doubt about it. The Von Eriks... Trying to give it their all to win the shot at the tag titles of what's on the line here. Jawbreaker right there by, by Thrasher. Or, or is it Moss? I mean, you, you can't even tell the two apart. They look like twins. And no pun of ten, of course, folks. <laughs> uh, well, nevertheless, though, Thrasher and Moss are going to do whatever it takes to be, the, ch to be the, the ones to get a shot. This is their in-ring debut tonight. And they hate to lose here of what's on the line. No doubt about it. They thrive on tag team gold. And here's a 24-7 fact for you. Ever since their time in the in the olden days of the Attitude Era, it was 1997 since WrestleMania 13 when they were competing in a tag team elimination match, fatal four-way fashion. And their ring gear was was a Metallica shirt, and the other was a white zombie shirt. Well, unbelievable enough that the that the Headbangers. A real heavy metal enthusiast, no less. Yeah, no doubt about it. Knowing James Hetfield of Metallica and the late great Cliff Burton are already TNW Hall of Famers. Yeah, well, sooner or later, we, we don't know which member will be inducted into the Hall of Fame next year, but we'll keep you posted on it, maintain available. Yeah, no doubt about it. And a swinging neck breaker, Thrasher and Moss, and stereo double team by these two best friends and real heavy metal enthusiasts. Yeah, no doubt about it. They're headbangers, all right. They know how to fight. They'll just fight you until they win. As simple as that. Yeah, well, the headbangers are all fired up. Look at them go. Oh, they're rocking out all right. Wait a minute. Kevin Von Eric trying to support his sons any way he can. Marshall and Ross getting the heck beat out of them here at the hands of Thrasher and Masher. Oh, wait. Thrasher and Moss. Oh, my apologies there, folks. <laughs> and Moss right now on Thrasher trying to end it off here to get a shot at the tag titles and knowing it's all on the line. As... We know that Darby Allen and Owen are looking on somewhere backstage knowing of what's on the line in this number one contendership match. 
Yep, though, folks, we know that we were told that Sh Samus will be making her in-ring debut up next after this match is all said and done against another newcomer coming to ACW. And knowing King has a mystery participant coming up this Sunday for ACW Divide and Conquer. Yeah, no doubt about it here. And the referee makes a two count. Well, our senior official already giving it his all here to call the matchup down the line as he sees it. And oh! Missed the target! But Marshall and Ross are fighting back for everything, everything they got. Well, Thrasher and Moss may be in a world of trouble here as their tag team opportunity may be in serious jeopardy at the hands of these young guns. Yeah, well, the headbangers are legends in the Attitude Era days. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, the headbangers trying to give it their all to win here tonight. And already uh, been through so much as it is in this business. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Well, the Von Erics and the Headbangers are now fighting amongst each other on the outside. Only for a moment here. And oh! Running knee lift. Catching one of members of the Headbangers right in the gut. Yeah, well, right now, though. Oh! My God! There are no countouts in a Tornado Tag Team match. Knowing anything goes in this matchup. And a running elbow connected there. As Marshall and Ross doing whatever it takes to win the shot at some championship gold. Yeah, well, don't forget, Kevin Von Erich, no stranger to championships. Former NWA Texas heavyweight champion and a former NWA six-man world tag team champions alongside his brothers, Kerry Von Erich and David Von Erich. Yeah, no doubt about it. The Von Erichs have a triumphant history, no less, and they have done it all. Yeah, no doubt about it in this wrestling business. And Kerry Von Erich was the former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. After taking on the legendary nature boy, Ric Flair, that was triumphant history in the making. Yeah, no doubt about it. The Von Erichs fighting the ring they got against the headbangers of what's on the line here. Yeah, well, the headbangers have got something else on their minds. And they're fighting amongst each other right on the outside. And neither man has gotten back in the ring yet thus far. This has become a hardcore war in this Tornado Tag Team match. And right now, though, the Von Erics. Oh, Kevin getting it right in the face of the headbangers, wanting no part of the disqualification. Trying to make sure that his sons win fair and square here tonight. And Kevin Von Erichs' sons are in serious trouble here of what's on the line. Well, they got to get it back in the ring. Knowing of what's on the line here tonight. And right now, though, the Von Erichs in serious trouble at the, heads of the, at, the, at the hands of the headbangers. But more importantly, Kevin Von Erich wrestled alongside his sons in New Japan Pro Wrestling, which was Kevin Von Erich's retirement match, no less. Yeah, no doubt about it. It was a big time moment to see Kevin Von Erich had an amazing career. There's no doubt about that. And he is so proud of his boys and where they are today. Yeah, no doubt about it. And the headbangers with a slam. Now, wait a minute! The Iron Claw! Iron Claw on one of the headbangers! He went for the leg drop, but didn't go for the cover! Oh, not a smart move. On one half, members of the headbangers, Thrasher and Moss, may kiss their opportunity goodbye. Well, you know, the leg drop... Uh-oh. Sleeper hold, fully applied on the outside. And there's a jawbreaker. Well, Thrasher and Moss trying to give it their all to win the shot here at the tag titles. Now, wait a minute. I think I knew better. He just told him, come on. 
And I think it looked like the mind games of the Von Erics really coming into play thus far of these two brothers. Uh-oh. Big splash off the corner. Cover, is that it? Are they getting a shot at the tag titles? Two! And the Von Erics win a shot at, at Owen. And of course, Darby Allen's tag titles. Here are your winners. The team of Marshall and Ross, the Von Erics. This was an amazing matchup with the Headbangers and the Von Erics. You won't see this anywhere else, folks. And right now, though, folks, stick around. Coming up next, the in-ring debut of Samus as she takes on another newcomer coming to ACW. We have no idea who it is, but find out. Come to you live and next. We're back live. And here comes Samus making her in-ring debut tonight. And I gotta say though, this is gonna be a wild ride tonight. Legion on the fine contest, good to pull one fall. Making her way to the ring from the other side of the galaxy. Samus! And right now though, Samus making her in-ring debut tonight against another newcomer coming to ACW. Yeah, we have no idea who else is debuting, but we'll find out soon enough. Yet though, folks, we're being told that King is in the building tonight, and he's got himself a one-on-one -on -one match booked by the general manager, Noah Anderson, with somebody new coming to ACW in an untitled match. And then King will take on the following new superstar coming to ACW. Well, whoever it is, uh, oh my gosh. Good luck to him, whoever it is. Wait a minute, who's that? And from Yomasaka, Japan, Spring Tiger! What the? Spring Tiger! Spring Tiger making her in-ring debut. I'm kind of shocked about this. Coming all the way from Osaka, Japan. And the niece, of last I, rec I can recall in the record books, the niece of none other than Spring Tiger W. Already making her in-ring debut. And don't discount this young lady. She is a fighter. She'll do whatever it takes to win here tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it, Spring Tiger. I gotta say, though, this is gonna be an, an interesting in-ring debut between these two gorgeous ladies, but who's, but who knows what could happen? Yeah, well, though, folks, we were told from the floor that Zoe Stark came out here earlier tonight and was irate she doesn't have an opponent coming up this Sunday for ACW, Divide and Conquer. Well, we were told from the floor that it was until Noah Anderson came out with, with his bodyguard, Ken Shamrock. Thank goodness he's still here in ACW. After the war with Gunther had ended, alongside Imperium, losing to the Brothers of Destruction. We were told that they're under an immediate suspension after the disrespect that has happened leading into next month. Well, another suspension, and they were also fined of a total of $5,000 each for the both of them. That's a total of $15,000. Well, I got to say, though, Imperium really is really in it on the bad side of General Manager Noah Anderson. Well, if I were them, I would be careful what you wish for, boys. You just might get it. Well, nevertheless, though, Noah Anderson made the announcement well known that this Sunday, Zoe Stark will defend her title. As we're being told, it's against one half members of Alpha Academy. Because we're being told it's Millie Dupree. Oh my goodness, what a match that will be. Cover the match, is that it? No. Yeah, well, Spring Tiger and Samus already pulling off an amazing matchup thus far. King still has no idea who he's facing here coming up next, knowing it's our main event. Well, we'll find out. But right now, though, Spring Tiger in a world of trouble here at the hands of Samus. And Spring Tiger with a kick right to the back on Samus, escaping that move from the corner. And uh oh. Spring Tiger with a drop down. Another one. And a knee lift. Shades of her uncle. Spring Tiger W. 
Yeah, well, no doubt about it. This has already become an amazing matchup thus far. More likely Tiger Mask W. My apologies there, folks, for the mix-up. Spring Tiger, the niece of Tiger Mask W, has been competing in Japan alongside his niece for a long time now. And no doubt about it, well-known in Japan's history books as heroes. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Samus right now already calling for something off the top rope. And oh, what a clothesline right off the top rope by Samus. Catching Spring Tiger right on that Tiger Mask, no less. Yeah, no doubt about it. Spring Tiger fighting back running. She's got of what's on the line here. Now they're going at it with a back and forth battle. This is an incredible matchup we are witnessing here. Just look at this. This is blow after bolt blow between the two. And Samus with a right hand. And already this has become a war between the two. Pulling off an amazing debut match these two are here tonight. I think these two want to go home with a medal as far as I'm concerned. Well, the only medal they want is the ACW Women's World Championship or the tag titles. And a pack and suplex brain buster combination. Shoulders are down. Is that it? No. Gets a two count. Spring Tiger with an amazing maneuver there. Well, what's Spring Tiger thinking? And oh my God! A suicide dive from Spring Tiger. Connecting on Samus. And Spring Tiger has taken on so much competition throughout her time in Japan and had so many amazing matches, last we were told. And she's won them all. She's beaten the best. But can she defeat Samus here tonight in her in her in-ring debut? Or will Samus be the one walking out in her in-ring debut? Well, this is a double in-ring debut between the two. And the only thing I can say is two for the price of one. Who knows what could happen here in ACW. Because we got so many new amazing signees as Post Malone proved his point on why he wants to be a part of the ACW roster. Well, he did have an amazing matchup, but you got to give him that. And Samus with a clothesline. Clotheslining Spring Tiger out to the floor. And man, these two are really pulling out all the stops here. Sam is taking it to the crowd here. Getting, getting the crowd behind her. I don't know if that's smart. That will come back to haunt her sooner or later because Spring Tiger is an amazing athlete. You gotta give her that. Yeah, no doubt about it. And yet though, folks, things have changed here already in ACW back in TNW. We're missing a few superstars last we checked. We're missing Dexter Loomis, Nikki Cross, and let alone Joe Gates. But it begs the question, where are they? I don't know. Who well, knows where they are, but who knows what could happen? And another DDT from Spring Tiger, taking it straight to Samus. And oh, back elbow. An amazing head scissors from Spring Tiger. And Samus, back to her feet, and they lock it up here. And a gut wrench slam by Spring Tiger, really pulling out all the stops here. The niece of Tiger Mask W has got to be looking on back at home in Japan, seeing his niece compete. Yeah, no doubt about it here. And uh oh, Spring Tiger in trouble. Look out, Snake Eyes, covered by Samus. Is that all she wrote? Two? No. Neither one of these two have went for a cover yet. Well, not they haven't gotten the win here just yet. It looks like they're trying to give it their all here to win here tonight as we're seeing it live. And, uh-oh, Spring Tiger. Package Brain Buster. Into a suplex combination. Is that it? No. Samus again kicked out at two and a half. And Tiger, Ma Spring Tiger, looks like she's aiming right for the head of Samus. And incoming! Spring Tiger. Oh my God, flew. Right into Samus. Because anybody's bound to win this matchup here tonight. And there's got to be a winner in this matchup. It's anybody's ball game here as they're fighting amongst each other out on the outside. Well, right now, though, this isn't American rules where you can fight on the outside for only 20 seconds to get back in the ring. You only have 10 seconds. This is American rules in professional wrestling. And this is a lot on the line here for Spring Tiger. 
And with that submission hold, Sam is tapped out. But there are no submissions on the outside, Miss Tiger. You gotta win the match in the ring. Referee had a six count. Well, she nailed her patent submission hold. The human surfboard. Springboard frog splash right to the spine of Samus. That one's got to be it. Cover, is that it? One, two, and Spring Tiger wins her in-ring debut. What a match. My God. Here is your winner, Spring Tiger. Spring Tiger just won her in-ring debut with an amazing performance you won't see anywhere else. And no doubt about it here, folks. Coming up next, King in one-on-one -on -one action with somebody new coming to ACW. He still has no idea who he's facing this Sunday. But right now, though, folks, he has to take on another newcomer. But whoever it is, good luck. That matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next. And we are back live here, and uh-oh! Here comes King, still has no idea who he's facing, the ACW World Heavyweight Champion in an untitled match tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is good for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 241 pounds, he is the ACW World Heavyweight Champion, King! Well, King being a coming ring by his best friend, Craig Murdoch, of what's on the line here tonight. No doubt about it. This is about pride and guts. And it looks like King and Craig Murdoch didn't have no idea they were wrestling. That King had no idea he was wrestling tonight for the Sunday showdown at ECW Divide and Conquer against a new superstar officially signed over to the ACW roster. Well, come one, come all to ACW. Our doors are open to anyone that wants a shot to get a, to get a chance to be a part of the two biggest shows in, in this channel's history of 412 films like TNW and the HWF. But as far as King and Craig Mardock goes, they know what it's all about and they know what's on the line here. About pride, this is about guts, and something tells me that they have a whole lot of guts to spare, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, but King and Craig Mardock, nevertheless, though, are two amazing athletes, former longest reigning tag team champions, until they lost those tag titles to Darby Allen and, of course, Owen, the big guy. You yeah, know that about it. And King, already in the ring, fired up and ready to go, and has no idea who he's facing tonight. And it still comes down to it. Who is it? Who is it? What the? Who is that? And his opponent from the other world, weighing in at 248 pounds, Darwin! Oh my, that's Darwin! Gumbo Watterson's best friend is officially signed over to the ACW roster. Yeah, well, don't forget Gumbo Watterson, a former multiple-time HWF hardcore champion and one of members who left the hardcore squad with Rob Van Dam. Yeah, no doubt about it, including the Sandman and Chris Jericho and Tommy Dreamer. And eventually, we already know that the hardcore squad may reunite sooner or later, but we just don't know how it's going to turn out. And we're bound to find out sooner or later as Darwin making his ACW in-ring debut. Just, oh my God, what a debut this is. The ring announcer forgot to mention from the nearest fishbowl or from another world, as he pointed out. Yeah, no doubt about it. Darwin is from another world, last I checked, because we have no idea where this kid is from. No doubt about it. Here we go. King starting things off with a DDT on Darwin. And Darwin has not given a chance to fight back here. And this Sunday night for ACW Divide and Conquer is going to be a big one. I'll tell you that much. Knowing TNW Road to Redemption in one week from now is going to be a big time show that nobody will ever forget. Yeah, no doubt about it. As Darwin is in a world of trouble here at the hands of King. 
And King wasting no time working on that arm and trying to cheat to send a quick message back to the other mystery participant tenfold of his ACW title match. And he's letting him know, you want to shut up my title, whoever you are? Well, whoever you are, my title is not going anywhere. Yeah, but we still don't know who it is, knowing it's a new signee getting a shot at the title. It was in his contract that if he wants to wrestle on AC, the only thing he told him was he won't wrestle in ACW, not until he got his first title match. And the only title he picked was the World Championship, but we still don't know why. And we're bound to find out sooner or later as Darwin coming back here in this fight, it looked like right there. Fighting back against King as King right now. Uh-oh, look out! Doomsday by Doomsday reverse version of the Saito suplex, and what a clothesline from Darwin. And King hammering away, knowing he's from Tijuana, Mexico. Excuse me there, folks. I may have had too much soda tonight. And right now, though, folks, King with an arm wrench clothesline, clotheslining Darwin right on the head. Cover, is that it? No. Only gets a one count. And Darwin, you got to give this young man his due. He's already taken tremendous punishment, but he's fighting back there and he's got. Yeah, but this has truly become an amazing matchup thus far. King now going up top. Going to end it here. What's he going to do? I don't know. Top rope. Flying shoulder tackle. Catching Darwin in the face. Not giving this young man enough time to recuperate. Well, that's what he wants to do. Springboard drop kick connecting at Darwin's face. And Darwin is in a world of trouble here. Oh, no. Spear. Spear. The spear on Darwin. And Darwin got the left shoulder up. How is this kid staying alive? I don't know. Oh, no. Double-legged Boston grab locked in. And, wait a minute. Darwin escaped it. He's had enough. And the fans counting along in the ACW arena in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, no doubt about it. They're counting along here. Standing leg drop. King rolled out of the way. And Darwin fighting back. King looking for an arm wrench clothesline. There's another one. Looking for the last one. Three arm wrench clotheslines. And this young gun is truly taking tremendous punishment here. And oh no. Again, double-legged Boston grab in the center of the ring this time. And Darwin tapped out. King with a message back tenfold. Here's your winner, King. King sending the message tenfold back to his opponent, whoever it is, letting him know. This is my title, and it's not going anywhere. And if you want it, come and get it. Well, Darwin, you got to give the devil his due. This young man pulled off an amazing matchup thus far. Lasted over, my goodness, he lasted over eight minutes in this match. Hey, Etho, folks, we're out of time here. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to ACW, Alliance Championship Wrestling. I've been your commentator, MJ. We'll see you all this Sunday for ACW. Divide and conquer. Good fight. Good night, and thanks for joining us in my Goblin of Night here live from the ACW Arena in Phoenix, Arizona, as we had some amazing in-ring debuts of Alliance Championship Wrestling.